Let's make this project left-handed. Hope you like my new bucket hat with a twist, a Mobius twist. Come on, let's make it. Ciao friends, Beth with Thimblehooks and today's project is my uh, fancier, it's a little bit more involved, kind of an advanced bucket hat uh, or a sun hat. It is has a Mobius twist right here, but there's bucket hat on this side, a big flower on this side, and a twist in front. I love this hat. This was so much fun to design. So let's make it now. It's really, really easy. I consider it a little bit more advanced than my original Easy Bucket Hat, which I think we probably can put a link for that down below. For my Easy Bucket Hat, that one's really fast, single crochets only. This one is a little bit more involved. So I'm going to set him here. So you're going to need a uh, four weight yarn. I'm going to use Mainstays today, and this one is Soft Heather Gray. This one should show up very nicely and go with my flower. So I'm set him over here. You're going to want two. Um, two stitch markers. Use your favorite stitch markers. You're going to use them a lot and a clicker is helpful. And this is a five millimeter hook, which is what I designed this with. Even though this one calls for five and a half, I'm using a five. Makes a little bit tighter stitch and the hat fit perfectly. So we're going to go with that. So here we go. All right, so start out as usual with a slip knot. Any way you want to make a slip knot works for me on your five millimeter hook and we're going to chain 80 and then we're going to link them together and make a loop but I will show you my little trick so after we get one two three four maybe five or so let's go to seven six and seven we want to be able to slip these together without it being twisted yet so I'm going to go like this with my bottom of my hook and go right through that very first loop. Keep that on the hook. It won't get twisted this way. That's my favorite way. So we were on number seven. We wanted to chain 80. Just keep this one on the hook the whole time down here at the bottom and chain the rest of your 80. So there's eight, nine, and there's number 80. So we have 80. 80 chains and both ends are on my hook right here. This was the very first chain and that was my very last chain. So we're going to slip these together. Just pull this working yarn through the original one. So now there's only this one working yarn is on here and do a chain one. Now we have a circle that's not twisted. I just love that. It's such an easy little trick instead of trying to figure it out. Right now on our very, very first stitch right here is where we want to start. We're going to do a single crochet and mark this stitch. Now we're going to single crochet all the way around this big loop until we get back to the stitch marker. So I will meet you right about here and we'll do the last few stitches together. Every chain gets a single crochet. Not in the back bumps this time, just the normal through one of the, one of these right here when we have the little V's. Just go through the top one. One single crochet in every chain all the way down to the end. And here's my last chain, or which was my very first chain. All right, there now we have a nice little loop that is not twisted. In order to do a Mobius twist, we would want to take this, let's see, I'm going to set that back. So there's our very first stitch that we just made, the very first stitch we made. We want that to be on the bottom, so we're going to twist this to where our stitch markers on the bottom and now we're going to single crochet all the way around and the other side of the chain. So we're going to go right here, single crochet all the way around. And we're going to mark this first stitch. 
Hopefully I remember that. I just try to always use the same markers or I use a specific color, put them in alphabetical order. You can use one that your favorite hook in the first place or wherever you want to go. But I'm going to use the blue as the first stitch and this is the first stitch of the second round. So now we would just want a single crochet on the other side of the chain all the way around. Easy peasy. So I will meet you back at the blue stitch marker. Watch how this works. This is here, but we're going to we're going to meet up with the blue one here in a moment. So single crochet all the way around the top of each stitch. Or in the top of each chain. All right, and here we're almost done. Just have a couple of stitches left working on the other side of the chain because those were the first rounds single crochets. Now they're on the bottom. And we are just doing the other side of the chain. And one more. And now we met up with the blue one again. Isn't that just slick? So there's a little bit of a twist in here. So that was round, technically round one. Half of it started at the blue and went around to the orange, and the other half went orange and back to the blue. So instead of the 80 stitches that we started with, there's actually 160 now. So that was round one. So round two, the first 80, starting at the blue one and until we get right over here all the way around, we're going to do a Suzette stitch. So in this very first stitch right here that's marked with the blue one, we do a single crochet. And then move our marker because we're going to need it. I love my stitch markers. Makes a lot less having to count stitches. Alright, so there's the first one. That was a single crochet. So a Suzette, a Suzette stitch when you're working in the round is a two stitch process. So there's a single crochet and a double crochet in the very first stitch. And then you skip this one. So again, single and a double in the very first stitch and then you skip this one and repeat that. Single and a double and a skip. Single, double, skip. Single, double crochet, and skip. Do that all the way until we meet over here at the orange ones. We're going to do half around that way. So we're going to skip this one, single crochet, and a double crochet. and a skip all the way until the second stitch marker which I have marked in orange. So I will meet you over there in a minute. Just keep following that repeat of a single, double in the same stitch and a skip. And there's our last few stitches. Skip, single crochet and a double crochet in the same stitch. Skip, single, and a double in the same stitch and there should be one here that you're supposed to skip when we're back to the orange and there is so that's great. So there's half of round two. And that's all a Suzette stitch so it has just a little bit of texture. Very cute. Now the other side is going to be different because we want that one to have texture and fun and here like this and be whimsical and fun for summer bucket hat. Now the other side is going to be single crochets. So we're going to skip this guy right here because that's our last stitch from this round and completing a Suzette is a single and a double and a skip. So we're going to go into the one that's marked in orange here but we're going to do the back loop only. So just right there, single crochet back loop only all the way around. Move my stitch marker. And that's going to give us the little ridges that we have right here. So again, 
single crochet in the back loop only all the way around back to the blue marker. This is easy. This goes really fast. Back loop only, single crochet all the way around to the blue marker to finish out round two. And I need to right over here is where we'll end up. There's our last few stitches on round two. And we're meeting up with the blue, with the blue stitch marker. So that's good. Remember, single crochet in the back loop only all the way around up to that blue marker. The second half of this round. So there is technically round two is complete. So I'm going to do one click. As you can see here, this side is all uh, is all Suzette, and this side is all single crochet in the back loop only. And we started in the very center, so we're working out from both directions, just like this right here. In this part of the hat, this is our very first chain that we started with when we chained 80. We're working the brim in Suzette and the hat in the single crochets. So we're working out every round. It gets a little bit wider. So that's fun. So what we do with this is exactly what we just did. A Suzette for halfway around. So start from the blue and go over to the orange in Suzette. And then the other half is single crochet back loop only. And do that for nine rounds total. We just did the first one, so you have to do that eight more times and you will end up with it being, it will end up being this wide. So I'll meet you back here after we do round 10, which is the ninth sequence of Suzette for half and single crochet back loop half. I'll meet you back here in a few minutes. There's the last couple stitches in that round. Right, see, we were expanding both directions. So you can see very clearly these are the single crochets here and this is the Suzette. So it's making a nice little floppy brim. This is so cute. I just love it. So for the next round, we're going to expand out the Suzette. So it's the same idea, except that in every, instead of skipping a spot, you're going to put a single crochet in that spot. So we're going to start out with our normal single crochet and a double crochet in the same stitch. And normally we would skip this one. We're going to put a single crochet in it. So this is a single and a double in the same stitch and then a single. Single and a double in the same stitch and instead of skipping we're going to put in a single crochet. Single and a double and a single crochet. We'll do that all the way around until we meet up with the orange marker, which is halfway through. So again, that was a single and a double in the same stitch. And then instead of a skip, we're going to do a single crochet. Single and a double in the same stitch and a single crochet. Okay, we're almost there. There's my single crochet. <clears throat> and there's a single, oopsie, single and a double. The same stitch and a single. And a single and a double and the same stitch. And a single. Single and a double. And there's our very last stitch is a single crochet. There was the first half of round 11. 
So what we did was we took this from being 80 stitches of, of uh, Suzette and we increased it just a little bit. Increased it by half actually. So we're up to about 120 stitches. If there's a little bit of wiggle room in here, if you accidentally put two single crochets in a row instead of a single crochet and a double crochet and then a single crochet, it's okay. It's okay. It won't show because this is where it's going to start to bend right here anyway. So don't think that you have to pull everything out just for one little stitch. It won't matter in this particular project. A lot of projects that does matter, this one has some wiggle room. Alright, so for the other half of round 11, we want to use, go from this half back to the blue with our single crochet back loop only. So in the very next stitch that is usable right here, back loop only, single crochet for the other half. And I just like to mark my stitch so I know where I am all the time. So again, single crochet, back loop only for the other half of round 11 and I'll meet you back at the blue stitch marker. There's the last few stitches in this round. So every time we make it back to the blue stitch marker, which is my first stitch marker, we've completed a round and this is round 11. Boom. You can see now very obviously that there is a twist. Yay! So that is great. We are on round third, or round, that, I'm sorry, that was round 11. This is going to be round 12. Starting in the blue stitch, we're going to do Suzette again. So remember, on round 11, we did an increase in the Suzette by doing a single crochet and a double crochet in the same stitch, and then in the next stitch, we did a single crochet instead of skipping it. So that was an increase. The other half that was just the single crochets in the back loops, no increase, so that was 80 stitches worth instead of increasing to 120. So this one is getting a fluffy little brim now, and this part will be on your head. This part is the brim. Alright, so round 12, we're going to go back to doing a normal Suzette, which is a single There's a single and a double in the same stitch and then a skip. Single and a double and skip the stitch. Single and a double and skip. So do that all the way around to the other marker my orange marker halfway around a skip. Single and a double and a skip. Be right down here in a couple of minutes. Here's the last few stitches. I'm going to skip this one and do a Suzette in here, which is a single and a double in the same stitch and a skip. Single and a double in the same stitch and a skip and a single and a double in the, last, in the stitch and then there's one left to skip. If this one's not here, it's okay. This means that somewhere along the way when, we, when you increased, you may have dropped a stitch or added a stitch. It's okay. It's okay. That won't make or break this pattern because this is again on the foldy part of the brim right here. No one will ever see it and it rolls up like this anyway, so that's okay. Now for the other half, working from the orange stitch back to the blue one again over here, single crochet in the back loop only. So we're going to skip this last stitch and go into the back loop of the one that's marked with my orange marker and single crochet in that back loop only. And I'm going to move my stitch marker because I am very pro stitch marker because I hate counting 
if I don't have to when I lose my place. Alright, so again, from here all the way around, following this pattern, all the way back to the blue, we're going to do a single crochet in the back loop only for these 80. And I'll meet you at the blue stitch marker in a couple of minutes. And here's the last few on this round, which is round 12. Single crochet in the back loop only, all the way back to the blue marker. See? And one more. Back loop. There we go. A nice little twist. That's so fun. So you can see here's our original tail. Started right here. We started in the middle and we're working our way out with every round. You can see how quickly it actually goes and makes progress because we're working both sides at the same time. So it gets it gets wide very quickly. It works up pretty fast. All right, now for round 13 from the blue marker to the orange marker. So the first half the fir on top of all of these Suzettes, we're just going to single crochet in through both loops, just normal single crochet right here both loops, just an original classic single crochet all the way to the stitch marker to just to even up these edges. So single crochet in every stitch all the way to the next marker, my orange marker. Just evens up the size of these stitches a little bit the way I stitch my double crochet loops are a little bit bigger than my single crochet loops so I just like to make them all a little bit more even since this is going to be the edge of the brim. Here's the last few stitches just regular old classic single crochets into the top of every one of these little Suzettes. So every stitch gets a single crochet all the way to the other orange stitch marker. that just ed finished up edge this edge is just a little bit cleaner now and I like it that way so the next round is just as as we have been doing for these 80 it's a single crochet in the back loop only for this next grouping make sure we put these markers back in because we're gonna need them in a couple of minutes so we'll do a single crochet in the back loop only all the way to the other and to my other blue stitch marker to finish round 13. Here's the last few stitches of round 13. Remember we're doing single crochets in the back loop only. Boom, boom, and there's my last one. There's our twist. This is awesome. All right, so next is the tricky part, but this is why we have our why we have stitch markers. We are going to take our stitch markers and fold this in half. And we want to be only working in what we were doing with single crochet back loop only. We will no longer be working in the Suzette stitches. So I am going to put these together here really quick. And I'm going to count my stitches because I want 80. So I'm going to make sure that I slip stitch in the right spot. So while I count my stitches, please subscribe to my channel. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to count my stitches. I want 80. And remember, we're working in the single crochets, not in the Suzettes. So I'm going to count from, hopefully, from one from here around to this one. 
I'm hoping is 80, but we want 80, so let's get there. And this stitch right here is 80. So we want This is our working yarn right here. I counted the wrong direction, but it worked correctly. Because this is stitch number one. Right here is where our working yarn is, and this is stitch number 80. So that's exactly where we want to be. So I put my hook through this first stitch here with my working yarn in it and through the one that's marked with the orange and I'm going to slip stitch right there. That's kind of the tricky part. We just cut off the brim from being worked anymore. Now this part right here is 80 stitches. This is going to go around her head and this is the brim that will just be floppy and cute. So we are back in business here. So again, we are only working with the ones that were single crocheted. So we got to tuck all of that stuff down that was the Suzette. So we don't want to accidentally catch any of those stitches. All right. My yarn was in a little bit of a tangle, but I got it better. Okay, all better. So we're going to start right here. Now that we've slip, this, slip stitched this together, we have just the crown of the hat going. So we're going to Suzette around. So again, that was a single. We're going to mark it. I'm going to take the blue one now. We don't need that one anymore. That was marking our Suzette stitches from the brim. We don't need that one anymore. So I'm going to take that and put it on my first stitch of this set of Suzettes. Because we're working on the crown of the hat now. So there was my single crochet and here's a double. And a skip. A single and a double. And skip single, double, skip. And do that all the way around to the other stitch marker. I'll meet you right back about here and we'll complete this round which is round fourteen. Round fourteen. Again, this was just a normal Suzette's. Skip, single and double in the same stitch. Skip all the way around the crown of the hat, the top of the hat. And here are the last couple stitches. And my Suzette. Skip that one and we're going to go in here. Boom. And we made it around. We don't need this one anymore. There's our 80 stitches. Well, technically 79 because we are skipping this one as we do when you do a single, when you do a Suzette stitch, it's a single and a double in the first stitch, and then a skip. So we're technically going to skip that number 80 right there. Now we're going to Suzette one more time. All 
the way around. So there's a single, and there's my double, and a skip. So the same thing we just did, single and a double all the way around the top of the hat. And we'll end up back at the blue stitch marker. And here's the last few Suzette stitches for this round, which is round 15. Skip, single, and a double. And a skip, single, and a double. And there's our last stitch, which is a skip. So that was round 15. Now round 16 and 17 is all the way around. Remember to skip this stitch right here because it was a Suzette, so we skip that and go right into the stitch that was marked with the blue. I took out my stitch marker too fast, sorry about that. We're going to do a single crochet in the stitch that was marked with my blue one before I jump the gun there. Single crochet. So rows 16 and 17 are single crochet all the way around the part that we just did right here. So here's round 16, single crochet all the way around until we get back to the blue stitch marker. And there's the last few stitches of round 16. Just regular old classic single crochets in every stitch. There's round 16. Round 17 is just like it. So do that one more time. Single crochet all the way around the body of the hat. So mark that first stitch and single crochets all the way around both loops regular old classic single crochets. And it's the last few stitches of round 17. These are just classic regular old single crochets all the way back to the stitch marker. Boom. And you see how that's working. This This is the brim, and now we're working on the hat, the top of the hat. We get to start reducing now and turn it into a hat. Right now we're going to start reducing the crown of the hat, the very tippy top of the hat. And the way that we do that is in this very first stitch, I'm going to put a single crochet. So our sequence is going to be six single crochets. It's one, two, three four, five, six, and then we're going to single crochet two together, which is in, yarn over, pull through, and in the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, three loops on the hook, go all the way through. So we just reduce that little, those two stitches down to one. So again, we'll do that. Six single crochets, it's one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then these two are going to be single crocheted together. So again, through there and through here, yarn over. I have three loops on my hook. Boom. One, two, three, four, five, six, and single crochet these two together. Three loops on the hook, go through all of them, all the way around to our stitch marker. All right, here's my last set. So single crochet one, two, three, four, five, and six. And these last two stitches get single crocheted together. So we yarn over, go through the next one, yarn over, three loops on my hook, all the way through. From 80 stitches down to 70. And we're going to reduce again. This time we're going to take it down to 60 stitches. So in this very first stitch, our sequence is going to be 
five single crochets and then single crochet, crochet two together. So here's my first one. You're probably going to get the hang of this reducing really fast. It's very, very simple. Single crochet one, there's number two, number three, four, and five. And then single crochet these next two together. Reduce that two stitches down to one. One, two, three, four, five. And those two together. So this is round. 18, I believe. So again, all the way back to the stitch marker, single crochet five, and then two together. Here's that last set. So single crochet five, one, two, three, four, and five. And the last two stitches are single crocheted together. Three loops on my hook underneath everything. And that was round 18. We get to reduce again. Every one of these rows coming up here is a reduction. So round 19, we're going to start the same way. Single crochet right there and start throw our marker back in. So we're going to single crochet four. Remember the first round was single crochet six and a reduce. A five and a reduce. So this is a single crochet four and reduce. We're taking it down to 50. So there's one, two, three, four, and a reduction right here. Three loops on my hook all the way through. Do that one more time and I'll meet you back over at the stitch marker. One, two, and here's my last reduction on this row. There's one single crochet, two single crochet, three, and four, and the last two are a single crochet together. Go through all three loops. And that was row 19, round 19. Okay, we do that again. But since the first one was six, and then five, and then four, so we, you guessed it, this one is single crochet three, and then the reduction. So there's our first one. There's single crochet one, two, three, and reduce. One, two, three, and reduce. All the way back around to the stitch marker. And here's my last set of reduction for round 20. Again, one single crochet, two single crochet, three single crochet, and reduce by single crochet these two together. Three loops on your hook through everything. There's round 20. Don't have too much left to go. Round 21 is another reduction. So like we did before, we're going to do a single crochet, put our stitch marker back. So this one is two single crochets and then a reduction. So single, there's single number two, and then reduce by single crocheting these two together. All the way around, back to the stitch marker. One, and two, and reduce. All right, here's the last set on round 21. Single crochet one, single crochet two, and then Single crochet these two together to reduce. Boom. All right, we're getting so close. All right, round 22, single crochet. Single crochet one and a reduction. So there's single crochet one and reduce. Single crochet these two together. Single crochet reduce. And there's the last set, single crochet and reduce by single crochet these two together right at the stitch marker. And that was round 22. 
we're almost done look there's hardly anything left we're almost done this is fabulous all right so the next one is we're just going to reduce all the way around so it's a single crochet two together every time all the way around there's the last two of them single crochet these two together and there's the last two done. Almost done. And I have two rounds left and they're really tiny because we barely have any stitches left to work with. So round 24, single crochet two together, all the way around one more time. This only takes a second because there's hardly any stitches left. And there's the last reduction, it's right here. All right, we did our last reduction on row 24. So we're going to cut off a long tail here. Nice long tail pull this through. So we're going to finish this off now. So get out a nice fat yarn needle. It has a nice big eye. And we're just going to draw a string through these loops. Just take our needle, go through this hole to the inside so we can do a slip stitch on the inside really easily. Or little whip stitches through the last few remaining stitches and then we can draw a string it closed very easy doesn't have to be any way in particular as long as it's loose enough where you can pull everything closed in just one second it shut. I'm going to take out this marker so it's not in my way. Cinch this shut and just make sure that it's closing for you the way that you want it to. And do a little bit of a knot so it stays closed. However you want to do a little knot, just finish this off so it stays closed. So that was, I consider that round 25. Using the long tail and slip stitching all those together, I call that round 25. It's really just finishing it off. So we're going to finish this off do a little knot so it stays that way. You don't want it to come un, undone and then you have a big hole in the top of your hat. That's no fun. The only thing, other thing left to do is remember this very beginning one right here? We just have to weave that in. And there you go. Isn't this the cutest hat ever? And next I will show you how to do my little floppy pinwheel flower. That will be in my next video. So you can use it with the flower or without. Right now it's without. So this is so cute. I just love it. Thanks for stopping by. Thank you for supporting my small business. And please subscribe to my channel and stop back tomorrow so you can see the fun little flower. My pinwheel is coming up next. So I'll see you soon. Thanks. Bye.